Welcome Air. You ready for no headaches? <laughs> Alright, off to surgery. Surgery day starts the night before, so good morning. Good morning, because might as well be morning, because we're going to be up in a few hours. Yeah, so the night, the day before surgery, we reaccessed my port because it was going to be due on surgery day, but that wasn't going to be a good plan. So we just did a fresh needle. Other things, you know, you've got to have your last meal before your NPO which is don't eat after midnight. And then I always get this fear that I'm gonna get super hungry at like 12.05 and not be able to eat. But um, I got hungry earlier and so I had a hospital fish sandwich and some mashed sweet potatoes. Just what everybody wants for their <laughs> meal before surgery. It sounded good, you know, so I why ate Why not? It. Why not? We but thankfully, the surgery is scheduled for first thing in the morning, so it's not like Mary's going to be waiting around all day. And then... What else? Shave my legs, feel ready for surgery, even though they're, even though they're just going in my nostrils. Um... Yeah, and then tonight Mary got a bloody nose. I come back from a walk with Ollie, and Mary's nose is bleeding, and I'm like... <laughs> You haven't had surgery yet. You're not supposed to be bleeding. Anticipatory, uh, yeah. preemptive anticipatory bleeding, I suppose. So that's not a great sign. Uh, it's actually kind of concerning. Yeah, so we'll, I guess we'll go for... I don't know. I'm wondering if they're going to test my platelets again tomorrow. I wonder. Or they're probably just going to, I don't know, because they just tested them today. But my nurse was in here. And um, so that was good. She knew all about it. And, and then my nose stopped bleeding and then I started coughing. The pressure from coughing made it start bleeding. So it's been a, I didn't get to see fireworks, but it's been a, an explosive evening. <laughs> so we are gonna try to get some sleep a little bit before we get up early in the morning and head down to pre-op and uh, if you're just clicking on this video, Mary's getting sinus surgery over the course of the last couple months. The infection in her sinuses has gotten worse and gives her headaches. And yeah. we don't know how much that plays into her lung health and all of that. So we want to try to minimize that. And the IV antibiotics do kind of a temporary job of suppressing the infection. And so... Um, my headaches are already doing a little bit better since being on the IVs, but what we know is that that temporary fix from the IVs is, is just that, temporary. So that's when sinus surgery comes into play. Time to do some sinus surgery. So oh. I don't even feel nervous tonight. I'm sure, I'm guessing tomorrow morning I will, or maybe my body's just like, Girl, it's time. I thought at 11 o'clock at night I was gonna be nervous, but at this point I'm not. I'm glad, I'm glad. So we're just right. gonna get some sleep and we'll see you at surgery time. Good morning, guys. It's uh, 5.45 in the morning. We're just waking up to get <coughs> ready for surgery and part of that is Mary. <coughs> Clearing her lungs. <laughs> Since she'll be under anesthesia for the duration of the surgery, it's important to try to get those lungs <coughs> as clear as possible. I'm awake, I'm, al I'm alive, and my head doesn't even hurt right now. It might hurt a little bit worse before it gets better, but we're doing this, so in the long run, I will have less headaches. I just opened up the windows. 
So it'll be nice and ready when we get back. Ollie and Peter are out on a walk. They'll be back any minute and we are headed down to the OR. Okay, we made it down to pre-op and uh, got checked in with the nurse down here and before we know it, we'll be, Mary will be heading back to sleepy land. Still feeling calm, ready. Let's do this. Hey, let's do this with Earth. Oh yeah. Less than a year ago at my last night of surgery. That's true. Let's do it. Hey Mayor. You ready for no headaches? Yes. Ready? Some more. To surgery. Okay, Ali and I are out in the waiting area, just hanging out by the windows and waiting for Mary to be done. The surgeon will come out and give us an update once uh, she's complete and Mary's in recovery. And so they're hoping that they could keep it pretty short to keep the amount of time Mary's lungs are under anesthesia. Uh, so we'll see how long this takes. Okay, we're just waiting, but the surgeon came out and said that Mary, they finished up with surgery. She's still in the OR. They're kind of uh, moving her toward recovery, but surgery went well and there was some new bone growth in her sinuses which can happen with inflammation um, that they had to clear out a little bit but she said she tried to do it as gently as possible and clear out as much as she could so she said hopefully this will lead to less headaches and uh, a little bit clearer sinuses but as we know with CF they're gonna fill back up but uh, doing this was kind of necessary and hopefully opening up that one sinus area will help in the long run. Hi, come on in. Hey, sweetie. Poodle, I thought he was going to be little. Come up. Here we go, let's right. slide down. Slide down. Good morning. Hi, Bones. Hi. How you doing? Oh really? Yeah. You okay? Okay. okay. He's looking at me, but hi. Hi. I was waiting. Yeah. I love you, Mosey. I love you, Ollie. Love you, Peter. Love you too. Water spit. More spit water? Okay, come on. My eyes crusty. Mm, nope. They're beautiful. Crusty. Just have a little bit of blood splatter on your face. Holly's the best. Mary's getting a little chest PT. Clear her lungs after surgery. She's doing good. Back up to the room on her floor. So far, so good. 
How long have you had him? Since he was a baby? Good job, hon. Okay, we are back in our home away from home. So far, uh, Mary's got a little bit of bleeding happening. I think a lot of it's draining down to her stomach, which that happens after surgery, but uh, I'm trying to keep her really still so she doesn't get nauseous and throw it up. Um, and CF team came by right after we got to the room, which was highly unhelpful, but... <laughs> uh, like, yeah. drugged. And asking, like... Yeah, it's just, just not a great time to have a conversation. But no. they were rounding at the moment, so... Um, Mary's Vanco level was low yesterday. The trough that we take to see kind of how our body's metabolizing it. And so they're going to do another measurement. They're going to take a... Uh, drug level two hours after her dose this afternoon and then another one another trough at midnight I think and then pharmacy figures out kind of how how the dose is doing um, because the trough looked low but it might be okay anyways and did you update them on what the surgeon said yeah I gave them an update when I was waiting um, but uh, I'm encouraged so far that uh, bleeding hasn't been too bad. When I was first, I mean, I was conscious enough to know what was happening. Well, the anesthesia didn't go great. Like, my body has this weird, like, response to I don't even know what. I think it's probably when they bring you out of anesthesia too quickly. I have no idea. Yeah. Whatever it is, my body was just, like, flailing about. And um, I'm just like mouthfuls of blood at that yeah, point. Yeah. So they were like trying to help me. Everybody's been sweet today. Yeah. But um, the one nurse in post op was like, "Oh, you're sweet. I think I've had you before. I remember you being sweet." <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> sweet, nice people are nice. Mary brings a lot of smiles to people in the hospital. That or Ollie, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, Mary does uh, brighten a lot of people's days. Before I went under, or before I went back, I almost jokingly told Peter, like, pick up the camera, I want to say this. Um, I had my hair in a ponytail, and I had this, like, my biggest fear going into surgery is I'm going to lose my, my favorite hair tie. Um, because I just use this hair tie. This is the hair tie I use. Whatever. It's and nothing the, special. And then she's in recovery and we can't find her hair tie. And, uh, then right before we came up here, the post-op nurse found, the, I guess in the OR, they had bagged up her hair tie and had it in a plastic baggie for her. So, she still has her hair tie. I'm and glad I got up and did my best. Yeah. So I think you should not talk oh. and just rest for now. I was sitting here, started hearing a helicopter. Yeah. And it's one of those things that no matter what I'm feeling right now, like that instantly snaps me out of like my own pain, I guess. Reminds me of it. Somebody else is having a very difficult time right now. Great that family. We're trying to just let her rest, let the blood clot in her sinuses. Sinuses are just tiny and sensitive, and so there's inevitably a lot of bleeding. But it's already like massive amounts. Better than last time. Yeah. Better than both times. I would say pain is a little worse this time than last time. Yeah. Thankful for the same surgeon doing all these sinus surgeries so that she knows. Yeah. 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 And I think especially for follow-up sinus surgeries because she like knows what to expect with her sinuses and yeah, all that.
it's interesting because when I told you, like, it feels like the left side is more painful. Yeah. But you said the right side. Is well, where she she, did more work. she said the right cheek was. Um, she had to wash that one out a lot, but I don't know. I've I don't know if maybe she. Maybe the drilling, the, the drilling might have been the left upper, which would make sense for where you're putting that ice pack. But it's done. Yeah, good job, hun. A week ago, I was sitting on the floor. Oops. I'm so dry. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on the floor by the front door. My doctor called. And we were deciding on the IV plan. And he said, I talked to your surgeon, and she has some time on July 5th. I looked at the calendar, and I went, oh, that's a week from today. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It felt, like, really sudden. But, oh, my gosh. My surgeon said that she's booking out like this. She's on call, and so it worked. She's booking into November, and to think of having headaches from now until November, I was just so thankful it's worked. Yeah, so the inevitable happened. Uh, Mary threw up the blood that had kind of drained into her stomach and so that caused her nose and sinuses to start bleeding out her nose as well but I think it's calmed down. This happened last time as well but number one she threw up a lot more blood last time and number two the bleeding is a more under control after throwing up. I mean it's not as under control but more under control than last time. Yeah. So, keep on, keep on going. Harry's pain's gotten a bit worse as the days have gone on, but she's a trooper. This little guy's a little companion. Well, this is pretty much our day today. The pain has just gotten worse and worse. Yeah, as the days have gone on, the pain's gotten worse, I think. There's some good things, there's some hard things, and we keep pressing on. Mary's pretty much been in that position all afternoon. She was able to sleep for a little bit, right? I think, yeah, I might sleep. A little bit, but we're gonna wrap it up here today, guys. Thanks for cheering us on, and for, let's give Mary a thumbs up for uh, pushing through surgery today. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. And night to the Ollie boy. Let me get his little doggy over there. Oh, so cute.